the past year. But first, if you haven't yet heard of a multi-talented man called Gary Card, then pay attention. His blog modestly mentions that he makes sets, props, illustrations and a few paintings when in fact he has a truly enviable client list and his admirers range from Lady Gaga to the New York Times. The biggest buzz of all though is about his work on the interior of London's late night chameleon cafe which is up for an award from the Design Museum. Charlie Luxton's been finding out more. A trip to the Late Night Chameleon Cafe, or LNCC to its friends, means turning your back on the city centre and taking a magical mystery tour out east into deepest Dalston. The store is the physical presence of something that started out as an online emporium. And unlike most high street shops, you can't just turn up. You need an appointment to view. key entrance leads to a subterranean world, crafted by set designer Gary Card. It's a world away from the busy East London street that I've just come from. It feels rather like stepping into a fairy tale. And then into a sort of low-budget sci-fi movie. I, and I don't mean that in a derogatory sense, because Clearly it's very simply put together, it's not about super slick details, it's about raw ideas and, and, and making you feel in a certain way and it's, it's a very powerful space and I think you get a very strong sense of Gary's stage set training, it really has that feeling, it, it, it gives you strong emotions, it's about the emotional feeling I think and not the kind of slick architectural detail. It feels like Gary's taken the principle of the shop window and stretched it, so you're able to actually inhabit the display. Three different rooms, each with an individual character, house an eclectic collection of over a hundred international designers, some big names, some emerging talents. What makes Gary's design stand out for me is the Jekyll and Hyde way these vastly different spaces rub up against each other. This one feels like some sort of industrial cooling facility. You get a real sense of Gary's theatrical heritage. This place is all about the theatre of fashion. This room feels warm and welcoming. That's partly because of the wood, but also some simple stuff like the lighting. This is tungsten, whereas next door it's a cold, frigid fluorescent. Very simple, but actually very emotionally powerful. You know, it's really nice to see these materials that have used so freely. This makes me smile because this is, um, this is builder's band. We use this every day on building sites just to connect things that you don't see. It's just very strong metal and this is the cheapest sort of timber that you wouldn't even use to make joinery from this is construction timber because that's not what it's about it's in a way it's the the way that you're putting like a, a 200 pound scarf next to the cheapest materials you can buy because it's about the ideas and not the materials i really like that that's quite nice actually LNCC is about creating a space that is, in many ways, everything the internet can't be. It's about community. It's about talking face to face and experiencing things with all your senses. You come here to meet the brand, not just people who are going to sell you stuff. But for me, I think the strongest thing is that it's done on a very small budget. Like, good ideas have trumped budget and this simple inexpensive little fit out has been nominated for a really prestigious design award and that is fantastic. So I'm intrigued to meet the man behind this daring design.
It's just a short trip across town to Gary Card's Hackney studio. The first thing you notice is there's no white cube minimalism. It's stuffed full of models and ideas and the tools of his trade. You almost feel like you're stepping inside his head. Gary's got an impressive portfolio, ranging from illustration to costume and set design. So I wondered where he felt his real strength lay. There's so much different stuff, and what yeah. do you sort of feel is closest to your heart? Definitely my illustration stuff. I mean, I think that's... It, it, it was my first love as a kid, you know, I was constantly drawing. It's how I approach everything. It, it always starts with, with the, the drawing. There seems to be a very big craft element the act of making being important to you. Is that a fair comment? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think it's because I can't... It, there's a certain amount of megalomania <laughs> in that I just can't... I can't give it to somebody else. I want to stay on it as much, and I, I can't let go, which is why uh, I, assistants find me a real, real pickle. <laughs> there is an incredible freedom to what you do. I think there's yeah. no doubt. You know, yeah. and it's almost like a... I don't even know what the rules are, and I don't care what the rules are, I'm just going to do it. I'm lucky enough where, that I, I get to choose what I want. So uh, LNCC is a perfect example of something that I knew I wasn't going to kind of come out of it a, a millionaire, but it just, it was too exciting not to kind of, to do. So you worked with your dad to build the Camino Cafe. Yeah. How did that work? And, and how is he kind of an ongoing part of your, your creative output? Yeah, he's, he's been making all my stuff since I was a kid. Nobody else would really push themselves to try and make something happen for me, like my dad. So, yeah, he's my go-to guy whenever I've got a really insane project that I can't ask anybody else. So he, he's got a building background? Exactly. Yeah, he's a builder by trade. One of my main influences, particularly when you look at LNCC, is um, how deconstructed it is. And that, that's a kind of ongoing kind of theme in, all, in a lot of my work is like, is, it almost looks like a construction site. And that absolutely comes from my dad and all of the jobs I used to do with him. And how important has the nomination for the Design Award been? It's been amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm up against the, the Alexander McQueen in, at the Metropolitan Museum, which is absolutely incredible. And of course, the dress. We're in the same category as the, um, the wedding dress. <laughs> Which is insane. The wedding dress. The, the yes, wedding dress. Right. To be amongst this with something that we... It was an experiment, pretty much. is just incredible for me.